Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about number two from the 2018 Calc BC exam. Um, and it's a, a little different from usual. Um, we're given a density function and ask a bunch of questions about it. So we are told that the density of, what is it? It's the density of plankton cells in millions of cells per cubic meter is modeled by this function, um, P of H. And we know that it's valid from zero to 30 and it's in millions of cells per cubic meter. So kind of a lot going on there. Um, but the first question is to find uh, P prime of 25. So that's definitely a calculator question. So I just grabbed the calculator and I evaluated it. I got P prime of 25 is approximately negative 1.179. Um, and then what we wanna do is we wanna figure out the units. So um, P of H is in millions of cells per cubic meter. And then H, we're told in the problem, is in meters. So it's millions of cells per cubic meter per meter. And then we need to interpret this in the context of the problem. So, um, all right. So uh, when the depth, so H is gonna be 25. So when the depth is 25 meters, the uh, the function we're dealing with here, so it's the density of plankton. So the density of plankton is going to be, so since I got a negative, I'm gonna say the density is decreasing. And then I'm just gonna say what it's decreasing by. So it's decreasing by um, 1.179 millions of cells per cubic meter and then per meter. And that's how I'm gonna write my answer. And do I completely know what that means? Yeah, I think I kind of do, um, but it's a little weird anyway. But that's how I'm gonna write my answer. Uh, I like to write them that way. I think it uh, makes the most sense to say millions of, millions of cells per cubic meter per meter rather than to combine those units and try to make sense of it. Uh, so let's move on to part B. So in part B, we still know the density and we are asked to consider a vertical column of water um, with horizontal cross sections of constant area three square meters to the nearest million how many plankton cells are in the column between zero and 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little picture of this. So that's gonna be my column. And uh, so it's gonna go from zero to 30. Those are H values. And uh, so I'm gonna say this is DH and I'm gonna make a little, just a little cross sectional slab here and then the area of this cross section is just three meters squared. And then DH is also measured in meters because it's uh, slicing H, which is measured in meters. So uh, the volume of that little slab is three DH, uh, area of the base times the height, so it's three DH. So um, the, the mass or the quantity I'm looking for here is just volume times density. Uh, so I'm gonna do the integral from zero to 30 because those are my bounds. So it's gonna be um, three dH and then times uh, P of H, but I'm gonna write it as three P of H and then put dH out here. Okay, so that's how we set this up. Um, that integral approximately, according to my calculator, 1675, and that's gonna be in millions of cells. So that's a lot of cells. Um, and you can kind of work out and see if this worked out. Uh, this was in meters squared. This is in uh, millions of cells per meter cubed. And this is in meters. So uh, the overall units work out to millions of cells, which is exactly what I wanted. So here's a screenshot of my calculator. Uh, you can see how I did the previous problem and you can see how I did uh, this one. And moving on to the next part. So the next part's pretty weird. We're told that uh, we have another function, u of h, and we know that uh, zero is less than or equal to f of h is less than or equal to u of h for all h uh, greater than 30. And we also know the integral from 30 to infinity of u of h dh is 105. And uh, first thing we need to do is we're told that the column is k meters deep. k is greater than 30. And we want to write an expression involving one or more integrals that gives the number of cells in the column. So we're looking for the total number of millions of cells. 
Um, and so what we want to do is what we got from zero to 30, which was this. So this is one of those problems where you like, you just have to keep going. Even if you got the previous part wrong, just use it and move on. So this is what we got from zero to 30. And then we're gonna add more from 30 to whatever K is. Um, but the function switches. So uh, P of H is only valid between zero and 30. And then we're told that F of H is valid for H greater than 30. So between 30 and K, instead of using P of H, we're gonna use um, just F of H. So we get this. They've been doing that recently where they make you switch functions like partway through the interval. So you should definitely be on the lookout for that when you're practicing for the AP exam. Um, and then this is gonna be the value that we got previously for the integral from zero to 30 of three P of H dh. So 1675 plus, we're just gonna leave this um, from 30 to K of three F of H dh. Okay, but that's not all. So what we also wanna do is show that uh, the total number must be less than 2000 million. So uh, this is where this weird inequality comes in. So uh, since we're told that zero is less than or equal to f of h is less than or equal to u of h, we can establish a lot of inequalities. So um, three times the integral from 30 to k of f of h dh should be less than or equal to, based on this inequality we're given, uh, three times the integral uh, from 30 to k of u of h dh. And then since u of h is positive, the integral from 30 to k, k is finite, must be less than or equal to the integral from 30 to infinity. So this thing is definitely less than um, three times the integral from 30 to infinity of u of h dh. So a lot of inequalities here. But the integral from uh, 30 to infinity is just 105. So we can say that the first thing we wrote in our inequality so three from 30 to K of F of H dH. So you gotta, if you, if you need to, you can pause and read through it again. Uh, that first part must be less than three times 105, which is that absolute right bound of our inequality, which is 315. And then, uh, so we said that, uh, let's say therefore, the integral from zero to 30 plus the integral from 30 to K must be less than 1675 plus 315, because 315 is definitely bigger than the integral from 30 to K of 3F of H dH. So since that number is 1990, um, the total must be less than 200, uh, no, 2000 million. Uh, these units are really annoying. Okay, and then there's one last part of this problem that has seemingly nothing to do with the rest of it. In fact, uh, when I got to it, the problem just says the boat is moving on the surface. I didn't even know there was a boat in the problem. Um, but there is, if you go back to the original, it says researchers are on a boat. And anyway, we're told that the boat is moving uh, according, it always has position x of t, y of t, and these are the derivatives. And then the question is, um, between zero and one, how far did the boat travel? So this is just an arc length question. So that's gonna be the integral from zero to one, because that's our time constraint. And then arc length is the square root of x prime squared plus y prime squared. So integral from zero to one, square root of x prime squared plus y prime squared. It's definitely a calculator problem. Um, so we get approximately 757.456, and then that's meters. And here's the calculator screen. All right, so that's the entirety of this problem. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.